Hello and welcome to this session on how to trigger a job on receiving an email in Jenkins. So let us see what we have to do is once you are into your Jenkins you can go to your manage Jenkins from here. So I will go to my manage Jenkins and here if you go down uh, you will find manage plugins. So we actually have to add a plugin. So go to manage plugins and here you will find a plugin uh, called search for mailbox and you have to go to your available section I am going to my install section because I already have installed this plugin but in your case you will go to your available section and then search for mailbox here and you should get a option for poll mailbox trigger plugin so you can get this and install it in my case it is already installed and once this is installed and this is successful like this you will get uh, information like this this is successful then you can go and create your new job or add this to your existing job so let me just show you I am going back to my Jenkins dashboard and I will click on new item and I will name this as trigger on email job this is a freestyle and say ok and here uh, you can give some description and go down and in your build triggers you will find this option poll mailbox trigger and this you will only get after you have added the plugin so here click on here and here you can give your host username and password for the email that you have to configure where it will where you will get the emails that will be used to trigger this job and you can actually go to your Google and search for Jenkins poll mailbox plugin so if you search here Jenkins poll mailbox trigger plugin you will get this uh, Jenkins wiki and a github page so this is the wiki page for this plugin and then here is the github page and here in this github page you will find all the properties so for the configurations of email you can use this if you are using gmail hotmail office microsoft exchange server so in case you are using gmail you can go to this settings you can use imap or you can use this pop gmail one thing that you should notice is the email that you are using for example i am going to use this particular email uh, you should go to your settings so you can go to your Google account I am showing this for Gmail and then if you go to sign in and security and go to sign in to Google this option if you go down if you go all the way down you will find this section allow less secures app on so just in case you are not able to uh, use the email or connect to the email make this uh, option as on in your email and then I will come back to my Jenkins and here I am going to give this imap.gmail.com as the host in the email username I will give the email id so that is I am using a email id raghav9901 at gmail.com and I will also provide the password for that particular email so make sure you use some test email for this do not use your primary account and now you can test connection but we will go to advanced and here in the advanced email properties here you can actually set some options for example if you click on this question mark here you will get this documentation here so you can use this properties field for example I want to trigger this job in case subject contains something so I will use this particular option I will copy this and paste it here and I will say trigger this job if the subject contains uh, trigger job 1 or something you can give anything here so whenever we will receive an email with this particular subject then only this job will get triggers and not otherwise and then there are other options that you can see here so this you can use and then here is the option to schedule so you can actually set here the interval when it will check for the email inbox for 100 mails for that particular subject so if I say H2 you can see the interval is now it should have checked at 1 10 28 pm and then it will check it uh, next at 
the same almost the same time right so there is not much difference so if you say here this is a cron expression so you can um, you know uh, check different expressions what will suit you so here it uh, is here is we have some difference of uh, 5 minutes so I want to check at an interval of let us say 2 minutes and yes you can see it will check at an interval of almost 2 minutes now so which is okay even if it is not having much interval that is okay for now and attachments I am ignoring and then this is all and then you can select test connection so you can see it will test and if you get any error you can resolve it but as of now I am able to connect to my mailbox and it has actually not found it is searching the folder but it did not found any matching emails so see I have do not have any matching emails with the subject line trigger job one let me try to create a email or send an email so I am going to send email to this particular ID raghav9901 so actually I am using the same account and I will say subject trigger job one and send it so I have received this email and now if I go to my Jenkins and again do test connection this time it should find one email and you can see it has found one email matching our criteria so that is running successful which is okay and then in the post build in, in the build step I will actually execute a command so if you are on windows you can select execute windows batch command or you can select execute shell of course this is uh, just for demo it will in your job you will do whatever you want to do on this particular job so I am just saying echo uh, hello world or I can actually use parameters so what I can do is I am going to say echo hello and I am saying uh, percent name percent now what does this mean is it will actually take this parameter from our email subject so in the email subject we can give key value pairs and here it will take it from there in case you are on Mac or Linux you will give something like a uh, dollar and then the parameter name if you are on Windows you will say the parameter inside percentage symbol and now you can apply and save and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another email and I'm going to send it to the ID which is raghav9901 and the email subject that we selected was trigger job 1 and now here I will give the parameter in key value so I will say name equals raghav and send and you see we have received the email and now let us see uh, let us go back to our Jenkins and just see if it has run and you can see it has already run it so you if I go inside and go to the logs console output you can see it has actually triggered our email it has triggered our job based on the email and it has also sent this message echo hello so it has not taken the name uh, let me just check why is that so I will go back to the project and go to configure and go back and see uh, this is hello name and here uh, what I gave was let me look uh, this should have taken let me try once again I will again say and I will say trigger job 1 is the subject and name is equals to raghav and send it again and let me just check now let us wait for the trigger to come here So yes everything is okay uh, let us just wait I do not see anything running now let me go back to configure so 
so here uh, okay so we have given like two minutes so it is actually waiting for two minutes it will run uh, it will run and yes I think it has executed so yes let us go to this and go to console output and yes now it is taking the name so you can see it has taken the name from our email body here okay and actually it ran two times because it might have found two emails and let me go back to the project and yes this is this has also run successfully and console output it is running fine and then you can go back to your project or job and here also you have a log for poll mailbox trigger log so you can go to the log and you can check the logs as well okay so this is how you trigger your job based on your email and whenever you receive an email with some particular subject you can trigger your Jenkins job I hope this was useful for you thank you for watching